The subject matter today is this fantastic looking structure across the street, downtown Los Angeles, the Broad Museum. I'm pretty excited about going inside this thing. Should be fun. There's huge clumps of grass out front. Not on accident, I think those are placed there as part of an art project. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. And I'm joined today by this gentleman, Jordan the Lion. And I have to say thank you to him for getting the reservation, signing us up, because the link to get in here on standby is pretty intense. Yeah, at least a month, almost two months, or you can wait out in line for about three hours to get in. But because you took the, the, the motivation and made the reservation, we don't have to wait, we're going right in. I was being responsible today. Join us, shall you? Starting off by going through, looks like a cave almost, up the escalator towards the top level, starting at the top. It appears everything is gonna be much larger in here. These, I guess they're flowers. You can see the stems. First I thought it was fruit, but it looks like flower petals of ginormous proportions with a very unique backdrop. The paintings along the wall add just the right amount of decorative ambiance. This gentleman is holding a child, and this guy, a bamboo product, a plant of some type. Look how the rays are beaming through here. Is that a unicorn right there? Stepping into the side room, we are graced with the presence of an Andy Warhol piece. There's a few of them, in fact. The two Marilyns, Elvis Presley, and over in the corner, the Campbell soup cans, the untarnished clam chowder can, and the very desecrated and beat up pepper pot can. Side by side, you notice the the differences. Name 20 Jackies, Jackie Onassis. Four rows, five across. Same painting in quite a bit of duplication. Every time I'm in an art installation like this, I think of Doug Fair, I feel like Ferris Bueller. Really? I always think of Pegger. Everybody just stares, stares at the paintings and the artwork and they know what they're looking at. And I'm just, just guessing. You wanna hear a funny story? My grandpa once told me he went to the Smithsonian and he said, I walked in, saw there was a piece of art, and I just walked right out the other door. I will say the detail in this is pretty fantastic. It almost looks like a picture, a blown up high definition photo. But in reality, it's a painting. That's some good work right there. Wow. This was done with oil paint, a wax pencil, and even a crayon. Guess you have to create your own interpretation of what it all means. Some interesting exhibits here. There's a light bulb attached to a lemon, a green violin, and two tin cans attached with a string. That was like pre-telephone days. I remember doing that as a kid with my friends to try to hear what they were saying from a distance. Similar to hieroglyphics, this is known as the hair stone. It's made much more recently, however. An artist did this. He took some paint and drew some rabbits on a rock. In this section are multiple pieces from Roy Lichtenstein. Almost looks like a mirror. Who's the fairest one of them all? Reminds me a bit of something out of a comic book, like Batman or something of that era, perhaps. Even has the, the blang written on there as well. Multiple balloon animals. The one in the background obviously is the, the larger of the two. But don't forget about this guy right here, this rabbit. It's a silver bunny rabbit with a carrot. Oh my gosh. Michael Jackson and Bubbles. Plated and like a gold coloring. With flowers, there's flowers down there as well. A few snapshots here. I think I got it. We got Jordan and Buster Keaton. You can move now. You can. Great stone face. Pretty freaking cool. One of my favorite silent film stars. Riding his trusty steed. Old Buster. Love that guy. There generally is a reason behind every piece. Not 100% sure 
what the reasoning behind this car hood is, made by artist Richard Prince. Yep, it's a, it's a car hood. Speaking of size, look at this table. Whoa, this thing is like 12 feet tall. Can you walk through here? Yeah, you can walk. You can walk underneath it. Not touching the sculpture. Just don't, no touching, no touching. You are allowed to meander freely. Just do not touch. Look with your eyes, not with your hands. I would imagine whoever has sat and eaten dinner here has spouted out the words fee fi fo fum before. The hairdos on everyone has been accentuated. You can see you now their faces are normal, but the hair aspect has all been definitely accentuated. Except this one, that's the whole face. It's like a hundred different faces with very heavy hairdos. This neon light says America right side up and upside down, flickering back and forth. You can even see the electrical boxes on the ground that power it. It's making a statement of some sort. At first glance, this just looks like canvas painted completely black. But if you take just a little bit better perspective, you can see there are words engraved in it, spelling out sentences. So you have to really pay attention to grasp to grasp this piece. Almost feels like I've walked into a section of Home Depot, but it's not. This is not just random lumber. This is displayed for a reason. It is fun to just stare at these items for a while, because the longer you look at them, you start to notice little things. The title of this is Yellow Bird, and while I don't see a bird per se, the longer I stare at it, I'm noticing up here looks to be, it's like an old flyer wedged in there. That's the only, only section that I see a flyer. What's your thought on this? I don't see anything on here that looks like Big Bird. Just the color. This Big Bird was yellow. I don't get it. I have to say, probably half the stuff in here I don't really comprehend, but the stuff I like, someone else might not understand. So I guess the beauty of art, you just, you just have to go with it. Heading back down into yet another cave. He's, he's disappeared into the cave. This level is home to the administration offices. They use this facility for a number of different things. If you look through the window, you can see the wall leading to the outside, that very interesting structure of the building. Back down to level one again. And of course there is a gift shop where you can purchase books of all the different artists featured inside. This is right up my alley. The world is your burger. I do like a good, ooh. Where to eat pizza. The last word on the slice. Also a big fan of coffee, so that's a good one too. Stuffed fluffy tomato can. And some Brillo pads and, oh look. Even a banana. Coloring book could be, definitely take up some time. Gotta make sure you stay in between the lines though. Oh man, that would be a fun one to color. Half of a chess or checkerboard, but instead of chess pieces or checker pieces, they're the Campbell soup cans. Was not expecting to find flip-flops in here. Yeah, they have flip-flops as well. As the banner states, free general admission. But as I mentioned earlier, the length of the line to get in was pretty long, so make sure you get a reservation before you head down here. Now there is one other thing that we're gonna do inside, but they're not gonna call us for about another hour. So we have some time to kill, something called the mirror room. We're gonna put our name on a, a list. They're gonna contact us. So we're just gonna wait patiently mm -hmm. before we go inside the mirror room. Well said, Adam. Thank you. Yeah. Patience is a virtue for someone. 
we're still recording. Yeah. Okay. Cool. My wife grabbing some food while we wait at George's Greek Grill. That you got the wrap. I got the sandwich. Chicken shawarma. Is that how you pronounce it? Sh yeah, shawarma. Shawarma. I think. Oh yeah. I'm not Greek. This is. This looks pretty freaking good. Rice pilaf. Yeah, a little rice. This uh, little topping here. And you got a little extra something. Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Um, Mystery sauce. I, I ordered something called spanakopita. So when they bring that out, maybe that's what spanakopita. Nice. There we go. Uh, right here is good, right in the middle. Alright, there you are. Alright, thanks, man. Excellent. And what is this? Spanakopita. It's like spinach. Oh, yeah, you can see the spinach down yeah, in yeah, there. You put this on a top. little. And this is uh, falafels. Yeah, looks a little different than normal. Yeah, but that's darker, not... so it might be better. You know? Yeah, you never know. Each place has their own, own recipe. This all looks pretty freaking good. Can't go wrong with Greek food. After a decent meal, heading back over, I think it's now time to go inside the mirror room. Oh, my goodness. We're inside. Adam and I are in the mirror room. Oh, it's, getting... it's very bizarre. Can't exactly tell where the There's window only a is. limited amount of area to watch. You're not supposed, not supposed Whoa. to. Whoa! It's... The mirror room. Whoa. We did it. It was worth the wait. Of light years away. It was worth the wait. Do, 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 do. This is pretty cool. If you want to view paradise. It's just basically like the, mirrors and lights. You're like in the bubble room, Adam. Fizzy lifting drinks. This is pretty neat, pretty, pretty trippy. Yeah, it is. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. We did it. Just your shutter speed, guys. We are now one of the souls of millions of light years away. How does it feel? I feel like I went on a pretty insane journey. That's how I feel too. And with that, it's time to depart and heading out across the colorful crosswalk. Thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed, please do so now by doing that. It helps keep you up to date on future endeavors and uploads on this channel. If you would like an Adam the Woo t-shirt, look at the link in the description box. By clicking it, you can get one shipped directly to your door, any size, any shape, any color on Spreadshirt. Don't you have a Patreon, Adam? I do, Jordan the Lion. Adam the Woo on Patreon. You know, I should probably put that in the description down below as well. There you go. I'll see you guys in the next video. The vlog is over. Da -da -dun, da -da 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 -dun. Subliminal advertising.